my scene. This is his scene. No, f you in your scene, man. I'm okay, standing you need right to here. leave now. I'm not leaving anywhere. Leave. I'm go. not leaving anywhere. You need to I'm go. I'm not leaving anywhere. I'm not. That was a Lake Jackson, Texas police officer assaulting a citizen journalist. Now, in the wake of the March 4th incident, Officer Johnny Cagle has been removed from the force and Officer Oscar Mendoza has been suspended without pay. And for both of them, things could get even worse. You're trying to intimidate me? Two officers with guns? This began when Roland Reyes took pictures of an accident scene for his local community Facebook page. What did you say now? I asked you why are you here? I said I'm taking photos. Okay. Are you allowed on this accident scene? That's what I'm asking you. You're asking me if I'm allowed to be here? Yes, sir. Okay. What do you think? Okay. I need you to leave, please. Until I'm not going to leave. Mendoza, your accident scene. You're taking pictures of other people's vehicles and license plates, which is against the law. No, that is not against the law. What are you doing right now? Taking photography. Okay. Not here. Not right now. Okay. Okay. What are you going to do if I don't stop? Okay. Good. All I'm asking you can do, what you need to do, is go over there. You're not going to stop me from taking photography. Okay. You work for the newspaper? I don't have to work for the newspaper to take public photography. Okay. But taking license plate uh, pictures of license plates, you are not allowed to do. In fact, he is allowed to do it. You are also by law allowed to lie to me. That's incorrect information. No, I think you need to you relearn are, the law on that. You, you, you're, you, you, you actually can, okay. and I can take all the videos of, of, of uh, license plates that I want. Okay. You go ahead and do that. I will. Do you have your ID on you? Do you have now your ID on you? Now you're on our accident scene, okay. so I want you to identify yourself. I want you to identify so, yourself right now. Officer Cagle. With Batch number? 635. And you? Officer Mendoza, 535. Now watch how I'm not going to give you my license. Okay. Then I need you to remove yourself from this I'm accident. not going to remove myself from this accident scene. 455, I need a supervisor out here at this scene now. You wanted to come here and intimidate no, me? Sir, let me tell you something right accident. now. No, sir, let me this is not this your accident scene. scene. This is all public okay. property, okay? You're coming up here taking photos of pictures? I, yeah. First of all, lower your voice now. Sir, I'm talking the same way. No, no, I no. With. You you came here with a bad energy. No, I asked what you were doing. You're going to lower your voice now when and you talk you to me. You sat here and said, I can be wherever I want. Every, anywhere I want, okay. yes. All I asked you is why you're here taking photographs of other people's None property. None of your goddamn business. Oh, okay. Yeah. So are you going to identify yourself since you're part of this accident? Absolutely not. Okay. And why is that? Because you are not my dad. <laughs> you are not my dad. Who do you think you are? And you do not belong in this accident. I thing. can be anywhere I want. You need to leave. I'm not leaving. Mendoza? Sir. I'm not leaving. Just I'm not leaving. Okay, you're not going to tell me to, you're not going to intimidate me okay. out of here. I don't understand what the purpose is. What is your here. purpose of you being here right now? Okay, so you have an accident, accident scene. Go deal with it. Okay. This accident is said and done. These records are now made. Then walk away. Off. You're dismissed. Okay. I don't need you here. Okay. So this accident scene is over. Why are then you Then get the out of here. I don't okay. need you here. You're trying to intimidate me? Two officers with guns? No one's touching anything on that. Then back away. Because if I had come to you this close, you would have arrested my ass. You're now already you need on to... our scene, which is interfering in my investigation. Here. I'm not a I'm not a interfering with any of your you need to put your finger out of my face. You need to back okay. up for me then. I don't need to back up. This is my scene. This is his scene. No, f*** you in your scene, man. I'm okay, standing you need right to here. leave now. I'm not leaving anywhere. Leave. Officer Johnny Cagle never announced that Reyes was even under arrest before physically attacking him. Anyway, I'm not... Following the assault, police called for an ambulance. Officer Cagle claimed to have been injured in the clash, so the ambulance took him, the attacker. Reyes, the victim, who had visible injuries, including on his head, face, and wrist, was handcuffed and taken to the hospital in the back of a squad car. Then, while Reyes received medical treatment at the hospital, police kept him tied to a bed. The injury photos are too graphic to show you here, but this is an image of the handcuff marks. After an hour, the police received the call, released Reyes from custody, and left. Hmm. Reyes says he's not anti-police and takes pictures nearly every day for the Brazoria County News, a community Facebook page that has over 10,000 followers. Legal experts point out that he had every right to be present on the public sidewalk and easement and document the police activity in the street. The police had no authority to force him to leave. Reyes did not approach the police. He did not make any physical contact and did not show any indication that he might flee or become violent. 
Still, officers Cagle and Mendoza never verbalized that Reyes was under arrest or commanded him to present his hands. Instead, they attacked him and threw him to the ground. In a press release announcing Cagle's termination and Mendoza's unpaid suspension, the city of Lake Jackson wrote the police actions were based, quote, on an erroneous understanding of law, which resulted in an arrest of a citizen who was legally videotaping a nearby traffic accident. Police department supervision quickly discovered the error, released the citizen, and initiated our internal affairs process. At this time, the internal affairs investigation is complete, and we have taken appropriate action given the circumstances of this incident. As of this morning, before the conclusion of the investigation, we accepted the resignation of Officer Johnny Cagle from his position with the Lake Jackson Police Department. Officer Mendoza, who was also a subject of the investigation, will receive a period of unpaid leave and is required to participate in remedial training in the areas of law of concern in this incident. We are also in consultation with the District Attorney's Office for confirmation on whether the actions of the officers rise to the level of criminal responsibility. Based on the Texas Code, both officers could face charges including aggravated assault by a public servant, a first-degree felony. Furthermore, Roland Reyes, the citizen journalist, he has retained a lawyer and plans to sue the police officers and the late Jackson, Texas Police Department. The city would be wise to settle. Mr. Reyes clearly suffered physical injuries and has likely suffered emotional distress, all because two ignorant cops had such a huge chip on their shoulder that they felt the need when confronted with constitutional rights to attack a man. I'm leaving anyway. I'm not. It certainly appears the officers targeted Reyes. At the time, a woman closer to the accident was also filming, and that man in the white shirt was standing in the middle of the road. But it was Reyes who spoke up for his rights, told the police to back down, and got attacked. This lawsuit is not going to be a close call. And while it was smart of the city to quickly punish the officers, now the city needs to pay up and settle with the victim, Mr. Reyes. It's the taxpayer's money, of course, that will be used. And this is yet another reminder that when a community hires tyrants and thugs to serve as police officers, there will eventually be a cost. In this case, the cost is going to hurt the bottom line of Lake Jackson, Texas, and stain the city's reputation. <laughs>
at least three different officers begin recording again. Oh, yeah. Showing the moment drugs were recovered from the car. I knew it. I thought they were freaking out. That's the weed smell right there, too. There are innocent civilians who got some justice thanks to the irrefutable footage caught by body cam. George Floyd, Tyree Nichols. But there are also people like Andrew Brown who, despite the body cam, hasn't gotten justice for his 2021 murder. States currently get to decide if body cams are required gear for cops, so clearly public transparency is not a priority for law enforcement across the board. I think Congress should legislate on this and federally mandate body cams for every cop. But we should also demand a federal police misconduct database, ending qualified immunity, making police unions less powerful, I could go on. What harm is there in keeping officers of the law on their toes for the safety of our communities?